eight hours of this. At 7.30 Friday night, police responded to 28-year-old Philip McCoy threatening to kill his mother, Kathy McCoy. It's crazy. I mean, you know, like you asked, I've never seen anything like this before. New to the neighborhood, Benjamin Smith watches outside his home for hours, just houses down from the standoff on Richmond Avenue. I just moved in three weeks ago, so I guess this is my welcome to the neighborhood. Not such a friendly welcoming. Tulsa police used an armed vehicle to break down the house to where Mr. McCoy had barricaded himself. This was after he threatened police and his mother with knives and meat cleavers. Police also used tear gas. I heard him say that hundreds of times, stating, come on and get me, come on in here. And um, he held true to his word and we actually had to go in there and uh, had to extract him from residence because he was not coming out under any circumstances. Before police even arrived on scene, Mr. McCoy had crossed the street and kicked down his neighbor's door and stole a television. That's when he locked himself in his mother's home and started destroying it. We needed to unfortunately escalate to this level and then once we get to the point where we're using chemical agents, those are tools at our disposal and they're life-saving tools, they're not life-taking tools. Mrs. McCoy then began interfering with the perimeter police had set up. She violated our uh, crime scene tape and we got into our inner perimeter. She was told repeatedly to exit. We were forced to uh, utilize some less lethal um, pepper ball rounds on her. Tulsa Police Sergeant Brian Hill says this standoff has been unusual because of the amount of damage police caused. That was no fault of the Tulsa Police Department. That is a decision that he made time and time again, and we probably gave him upwards to over a thousand voice commands tonight. He chose to uh, ignore each and every one of those.